Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got uh, this uh, red triangle uh, EFB fully confined uh, in a blue square ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, its uh, side length uh, EF is uh, 3 units. The side length uh, FB is uh, 4 units whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, EB is uh, 5 units. And bear in mind that these uh, vertices uh, E and F uh, are uh, on the blue square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, we know that we are dealing with this uh, blue square. So that means uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of the square are uh, equal. Let's assume this uh, side length of the square is uh, x. Then this side is going to be x, uh, x, uh, and x uh, across the board. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length uh, of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this blue square is uh, x. So therefore, this uh, blue square area is going to be simply x uh, square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle EFB. And we are going to make a test whether this uh, triangle is uh, a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me label uh, this side length uh, as lowercase a, this side length uh, lowercase b, and this uh, longest leg uh, as our side c. And we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 3 square plus uh, 4 square. And now our question mark uh, is uh, the left hand side is equal to 5 square. Let's simplify. We got 9 plus 16. Uh, is it equal to 25 on the right hand side? And here we can see we got 25 on the left hand side. And indeed uh, we got uh, 25 on the right hand side as well. So therefore we conclude that this is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, EFB is indeed a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, angle uh, EFB is going to be a 90 degree angle. And here's our next step. Let's assume that this uh, segment uh, AF uh, is uh, lowercase y. And we know this whole uh, side length uh, AD is uh, x. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, FD is going to be x uh, minus y. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle. Let's assume that this angle uh, is our angle alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be our angle beta. And now we know this angle is 90 degrees. Uh, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha for this uh, triangle. And in this uh, triangle, this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle BAF and this other triangle uh, FDE are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since these uh, two triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, the ratio of uh, the side uh, A, B, and the other side uh, F, B is going to be equal to the ratio of side uh, F, D divided by the side uh, F, E. And now we can see that our this uh, a b length is uh, x. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this a b with this uh, x. And now let's focus on this uh, f b length. And we can see our f b length uh, is uh, 4. So I'm going to replace that one with the 4. 
and here our FT length is X minus Y. So I'm going to replace that uh, with X minus uh, Y. And finally, this uh, FE segment uh, is uh, three units. So I'm going to replace that one with the three, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, once we multiply, we are going to get four X uh, minus four times Y equal to three times uh, X. And I'm going to move this uh, 4y on the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 3x uh, on the opposite direction. And we can see 4x minus 3x is going to give us uh, x uh, equals to 4 times y. And we are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate y. So therefore uh, our y value turns out to be x uh, divided by 4. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two over here. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BAF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our uh, hypotenuse is four, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got, uh, x square plus y square equal to 4 square. And now let's focus on equation 2. We know y is equal to x divided by 4. So therefore I'm going to replace this y with x divided by 4 over here. As you can see in this next step, I have substituted this x divided by 4 for this y. Let's simplify furthermore, that is going to give us uh, x square plus x square divided by 16 equal to 16. And now I'm going to multiply across the board by 16 to remove uh, this fraction. So therefore, this is going to give us uh, 16 uh, x square, 16 and 16 is gone. So this is simply plus x square equal to 16 times 16 is going to give us 256. So therefore we got 17 x square equal to 256. And now we are going to divide by 17 on both sides. This 17 and 17 is gone. So therefore our x square value turns out to be 256 divided by 17 square units. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this equation one. And here I have copied down equation one over here. And we know our x square value is 256 divided by 17. So therefore I'm going to substitute that value over here. So therefore our this uh, blue square area is going to be 256 uh, divided by 17 square uh, units. So thus our blue square area turns out to be 256 divided by 17 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 15.06 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.